The other thing I want to introduce you to in the simulation studio is all of the different component libraries that we have here on the right hand side. So it's worthwhile having a look through each of these folders to see all the different components that are available. See here that we have the con a library of controllers, all different types of controllers. We have electrical components, including PV panels. We have ground coupling library. We have a huge range of HVAC appliances, hydronics components such as pipes and pumps, ducts and fans. Then we have loads and structures, including the multi zone building model. We have output components such as the plotters, printers, simulation summaries. Then we have physical phenomena such as weather processing, humidity uh, calculations, things like this. We have the solar thermal collectors, so evacuated tube, PV thermal and typical flat plate collectors. We have thermal storage library including tanks, thermal, thermal uh, hot water tanks, and utility such as integrators, forcing functions, and so on. So to find out more about all of these different components, you can go to the help menu and have a look through the standard component library overview. And you'll see here a full list of all the different components that might be of interest for your particular project. For example, if we're interested in the multi-zone building, this, uh, this document will give you a, a short description of each, each model and where to find out more about it. And then to look into even more detail about these components, go to the component mathematical reference. For example, if we want to look up details about a differential controller, we can see all of the parameter and input details here and exactly how this component functions. So have a look through these documents and see which components might be useful for your project. You'll notice that in my version of Transis I have a lot of these test libraries and these are the test extension libraries that can be purchased. Additionally, there are 14 different libraries and the documentation for these can be found on the Transis website. So go and have a look at those. These are all specialized components such as geothermal heat pump library, extra electrical components such as building integrated PV, extra HVAC components. So go have a look at those and see whether you might need some of these specialized components for your project as well.